this is not the easiest uh, decision, I think, for council members to make because we are exercising our due diligence and um, this is opposed by our uh, esteemed um, employee organization and I'm appreciative of the input and the opinion of uh, uh, President Buttle of the firefighters who uh, spoke to the committee. Um, the genesis of this was when the county executive sent over Bill 1316 back in April and I read it and I said, I can't possibly vote for this. This doesn't make any sense. Why would we extend domestic partner benefits to non-married partners when all partners now can get married? And as I looked into it, I understood that uh, the state of Maryland, the school system, many state governments uh, had, as soon as marriage equality became the law of the land, um, repealed the idea of domestic partner benefits. It's a vestige of an earlier time. But Mr. Leggett went in precisely the opposite direction. And we're going to have an interesting conversation about um, his obligations under the collective bargaining law and our obligations under the collective bargaining law. But um, if the uh, if respect for collective bargaining, which I absolutely continue to respect collective bargaining, requires that I vote for something I can't support and that I don't agree with, then that's a bridge too far. Then, I, then why am I here? I don't think council members are elected to vote for things that don't make sense on their face simply because they were agreed to in a collective bargaining agreement. That's not easy for us to come to terms with, but it is our responsibility that the taxpayers have given us. We can't vote for things that are out of step, illogical, um, aren't consistent with what our school system and the state of Maryland and other state and local governments around the United States have done uh, simply because the executive sent it over here. And it'll be interesting in the course of the dialogue yet to occur on the council president's bill what really is the obligation of the county executive? Does he have to put his good judgment in a, in a desk drawer and just send things over that don't make sense on their face? It's a really uh, important question and an important conversation for us to have. So because Bill 1316 would have extended benefits for unmarried domestic partners to McGeo, and because I felt that I could not support that, um, I determined that I would introduce Bill 1616, which would remove the benefits from everybody with uh, very fair grandfathering so that no current employee loses anything that any current employee may be enjoying. We have not been able to ascertain whether there are any employees doing this. This is an exercise in due diligence. It's an exercise in good housekeeping on behalf of the taxpayers of Montgomery County. I regret that we're in disagreement with our esteemed friends in the employee organizations. We respect their work. Um, I'm happy that the 85 domestic partnerships out of a workforce of more than 10,000 uh, are not disrupted by this, but I do believe that the committee made the wise decision and I encourage the county council to pass it. Mr. Elrich? No. Mr. Elrich votes no. Mr. Hucker? No. Mr. Hucker votes no. Mr. Rice? No. Mr. Rice votes no. Mr. Leventhal? Yes. Mr. Leventhal votes yes. Mr. Oh. Reamer? Yes. Mr. Reamer votes yes. Ms. Navarro? Yes. Ms. Navarro votes yes. Mr. Katz? Yes. Mr. Katz votes yes. Mr. Berliner? Yes. Mr. Berliner votes yes. Ms. Florine? Yes. Uh, Bill 1616 passes by vote of 6 to 3.